front. Okay. So considering that you guys have been with a bunch of different girls. No, no. Uh, I told you earlier. <laughs> told you I was a man, man of man God. Of God. <laughs> man of God. Both of them, man of God. Man of God. <laughs> Man of God, man, man of God. God. I'm sorry she said that, Jesus. <laughs> Don't listen to her. Where's the holy water? Says the person that says that they would get with the ring girls right after their fight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when I said get with, I meant read the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> we were playing cards. Okay, games. you have a lot of diversity. You have a lot of different women coming at you. What would set a, a girl apart for you to see her differently? That's a good question. And I think... I, it, at the point in my life now, if I were dating and I was trying to find a new girl, I'd be looking for so many tiny things. You know what? Like they say in the eyes of an amateur, there's many possibilities, but in the eye of the expert, there's few, right? Mm. So like if you're a boxer and you're an amateur, it's, it's chaotic. But if you're a professional, it's pretty simple. It's left or right. You know what to look for. So I feel like because I'm an old man, 35 today, <laughs> I kind of feel like I know what to look for. And I'd be looking for a, a billion tiny little things. So if I, if I, let's say I'm dating a new girl, I walk into a, a high-end restaurant and some guy or someone or some girl, oh, hi. And she's like, oh, hi, did a instant red flag. Mm. Why the fuck, why do, why do you know this bitch in this restaurant? How many times you been in this restaurant? <laughs> who's, who's this dude? Oh, he's my friend, he's a promoter. Red flag, there's no such thing as male friends. Mm -hmm. Another bullshit. Bam. But like, like women, women don't actually realize what men find attractive. Because if you did, you'd all act completely different. Right? Bam. You ain't got a clue. Bing right? Bong. So if you go like girls dancing in the club, like, no, stand the fuck still. Do that. Yes. Don't do that. Thank I don't want to see it. Thank stop you. sexy. Stop. People knowing who she is, her being busy. I don't trust them busy bitches. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Let's grab lunch. Oh, I can't because, you know, I've got a new opening of my friend's store. And then my, my cousin is a TikTok influencer. And then after that, I'm going to the, oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, I don't like that shit. Right? No, I'm telling you. But I, I know this because through experience, all these tiny things add up to the same thing. They yeah. all add up to the same thing. There's no such thing as a girl who goes into high-end restaurants who everybody knows, who's busy all the time, who ain't jumping on some dick. I don't want it, right? So me personally, what would set a girl apart? It would be, I know it sounds completely unrealistic. It'd be a very beautiful, kind, courteous woman who really doesn't know very many people, really doesn't do very much, extremely small circle. If she wants to take a picture of the food and my hand's in it, I'll notice that. If she's angling it for my hand, <laughs> for my hand ain't in it, I know it sees things. I've been around the block. I ain't gonna say nothing. But I'm like, all right, bitch, yeah, you want the fucking short ribs, but this, this one finger is gonna upset some dude you're talking to on Insta. Right. Mm. Even I'm at the point now where I've been around. I've met beautiful women. And when I say beautiful, I'm, I mean, 15 out of 10. Yeah. Private Instas. Private Insta, no profile picture. I was like, why don't you have a profile picture? Because I don't want guys to follow me. Sheesh. That's the kind of shit I like. Sheesh. And I'm like, yeah, that's a woman. Right. Mm. But a lot of that's cultural as well. That's very hard to find in the USA. Colombia. <coughs> yeah, you know, there's oh. other countries you can go to where that's a lot more common. In the yeah. USA, every, all the girls are about clout. They ain't no give fuck. Yeah, but it's different. So what I would be looking for is a bunch of tiny little things and those tiny little things. If it's kind of like, it's a good thing. I'm not a girl because if I had the knowledge I have and I was a girl, I'd be dangerous, bro. I'd be dangerous. We see all, all the time. Oh, I'd have billions in the bank. You don't know how I'd finesse. Oh, I'd kill the game. I'd be Get Miss fucking Timmy sitting there. Oh, I've never been here before. Like on my 25th date and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd kill it. But yeah, like, so, and, and one more thing I want to say. Another thing that is ultra off-putting, and girls don't realize this, it's extremely off-putting when a man goes on a date with one of them real confident girls. Mm. It's off-putting. And I'll tell you why it's off-putting. It's not because I'm insecure. It's because I've just picked you up. You don't know me. I'm a six foot three kickboxing world champion. I could be a psycho. You don't know me. You're confident as fuck. How many times has, has, we, has big dudes picked your ass up? This should be unfamiliar. <laughs> you should be a bit nervous. Like, who the fuck's no, this guy? Funny. But you're all like, oh, hi, yeah, that, 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 that. I'm like, well, you're, you're, all right, another Wednesday, yeah, ho. <laughs> <laughs> so it's even, you could come and sit in my car and just be confident, know some girl in the restaurant, and then sit down and think the date went fine. And by the time the end of it, I'm like, nah. I'm not mm. interested. The small things. Yeah, yeah, you're you're right about it. Tristan, what about you? Well, my answer is going to be very similar, but when I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk about the eye of the expert, as Andrew was saying, and the small things you could notice. So when you've read the Bible to as many women as I have, <laughs> you notice small things that most men don't. So there was this girl from out of town. She lived about two hours away from me. So I, I could only see her one day every week or, you know, two days every two weeks, et cetera. And I had to go to Istanbul for business. I thought, well, this girl's quite quiet. She doesn't have Instagram. She was passing all the main tests. So I flew her to Istanbul. She knows I'm going to stay in the best of the best places. I get to this five-star hotel. She opens her little suitcase, this young girl, and she pulls out a hairdryer. And I'm like, 
she doesn't know that all five star luxury hotels have hair dryers in the bathroom. Mm. That's main chick material. You see, a lot of you girls, it's the tiny details. It's tiny things like bringing a hair dryer to a five star hotel. I'm like, she doesn't need it. But the fact that she bought it means she isn't flying to five star hotels with a bunch of dudes. Because otherwise she'd know that basic and, piece of information. Already when you have her in the car and you're taking her to a hotel. No, that's a point. But no, a, another point is it's other things. Like, this is why I say women don't understand what men find attractive. Like, I understand you girls want to live your life. Mm -hmm. And I understand that you want to put up sexy pictures on Instagram, whatever. I don't have a problem with a girl putting up a picture in a bikini. I don't actually have a problem with that. What I do know, if I see a girl in 15 different locations, she ain't pay for that shit. <laughs> Yo! I don't, I, don't give a, I, don't, I don't give a fuck what hustler, boss babe. I don't care what fucking shitty clothing brand you put your bio. Yeah. You did not pay to go Singapore, Dubai, Tokyo in, in the last two months. You're a fucking liar. Because Dudes if, are paying for that. And if you are a self-made millionaire, you're there with your friends. Why are you, why are you buy yourself in every picture? Yeah, you are a self-made right. millionaire legit. Why are you alone at every dinner? Why are you alone at every bar? Why are you alone on every beach where are your girlfriends and you're, you're a millionaire yeah. bring your friends you're with you. target. So good yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this is another thing so i'll even just look at a girl's instagram and just go too many locations we know too many locations and 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 this is the thing but the girls don't really have to try and hide it the reason i can say all these things and girls don't try and hide it is because they don't have to hide any of these things all the things i'm saying to you are things that turn off every man not just me every man yep. every man notices them but they'll still simp for your ass anyway because you're pretty Mm. And this is the game. I don't, uh, there's a lot of red pill guys and a lot of guys who hate on women for getting away with what they get away with. I don't blame the women. It's the pussy ass dude that puts up with it. We all set our own boundaries in life, right? If you're going to go out there and act in a certain way and dudes are going to tolerate it, then why would you change? Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. I understand these girls are doing what they're doing and they're still getting so much attention. Why would they stop? They don't give a shit. So why would she stop? <laughs> So is that her fault or the dude's fault? It's the dude's fault. I blame all the fucking sims. I once saw a video on Twitter of like a 450 pound woman talking about, oh, when God made me, you know, he blessed me with all these bountiful curves. Uh, curves and I, I, I made a splash on Twitter before I lost my second account because I retweeted. I said, you know whose fault this is? All the dudes who are fucking her. If she wasn't getting, uh, sorry, and, and uh, sorry, American women, if a woman that size was living in the country I live in, she wouldn't be so confident because no one's hitting her up. No one's in her DMs. No one's trying to have sex with her. She was bed, ba she was bed bound. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. She, we all, we she all was like, disabled bitch. We all like curvy, but like bed bound's a good No, no, that was, that was, <laughs> you know, like, she, it was, it was an exertion to stand up and make that little TikTok video. And I'm telling you, but someone's dick at her. Right now, someone's dick at her. And that's where the confidence comes from. So we blame men. We don't blame the women. There you go. Why would you? Oh, that, was, that was a good question. Any more questions? I like these questions. This is fun. Any Any more questions? Questions? I realize how much I know. Come on, let's go. Anybody else? Or no? I